Hi guys, welcome back to the EC Physio YouTube channel. I wanted to do a short video on a gait analysis of someone demonstrating weakness to their lateral hip muscles. In closed chain activities like walking or running, the gluteus medius is involved in stabilizing the pelvis while on one foot. In other words, when you stand on one leg, the gluteus medius on the same side contracts to keep the pelvis level. If the glute med does not fire properly or is very weak, we call this pattern a Trendelenburg sign. It is where the person either leans to their weak side and or drops their pelvis as they're walking. Have a look at a couple examples here. This patient had surgery on her left hip after a fracture from trauma. She initially had a lot of physiotherapy at home to help her progressing to walking. When she was strong enough to attend our clinic, she presented with ongoing weakness to her left hip with walking. We can see how she leans to the left with each step that she takes because she's either too weak or doesn't have the proprioception to engage her left lateral hip with each step. She doesn't land on her heel either with each step, which also decreases her ability to fire her glutes. And now after some exercise prescription and some coaching for her walking, we can see some improvements. She's still presenting with some mild weakness and mild lean to the left, but the overall gait pattern is improving. She's relearning the heel toe gait pattern on her left side. Now here's a view of that slowed down. Sometimes with gait assessment, the weakness may be a bit more subtle. Have a look at this patient where he's at the end stages of rehab for his right knee. He had an ORIF, or he had pins and plates put in his right knee after a fracture. He still has some trunk lean to the right during the stance phase on his right leg. Part of the reason as well is that he's unable to fully straighten his right knee during heel strike. If you've had a sprain, strain, or surgery for your lower limbs, it's worthwhile having your local physiotherapist address any residual weakness or compensatory patterns that can be developed. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.